Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal, and today we're continuing on with Subnautica Below Zero. Now, this is part number four, so if you haven't watched previous episodes, definitely gonna watch that one first. I'll show you the full playlist for his playthrough down in the description box, and I'm switching super down there as well. So, last time we had spent the majority of the time setting up the bare basics of our base. Now, I'm not entirely sure all of the things that we're gonna end up doing today, but the main sort of thing that I wanna get done is go and investigate the alien noise, which we had been kind of avoiding in the twisty area, because I feel like that's probably gonna be the next main story progression point, and hopefully we'll be able to get more things on locked from that as well in theory. As always of course don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube and give a thumbs up if you like me helps me a lot but otherwise I should go and get started. I didn't do too much stuff for homework this time I mostly gathered materials because I feel like we gathered some stuff last time anyway so I didn't really have to do too much. I think the only things that I did that were really new was added on another distance module onto the scanner room as you can see it kind of takes up the whole thing here. So this is what we're working with. I think before we just had one of each and then I remembered that these stacks so I added two distance things and then I made some lockers. Figured we should also make a propulsion cannon and the pathfinder tool as well. I also made a little locker here just for cold things so like thermoses. I tried to plant the fevered pepper as well outside and I couldn't do it so I'm not sure if I need like an indoor grow bed for that but we don't have the blueprints for that quite yet. I'm gonna put away this full battery because I don't want to use that by accident when I'm crafting. Let's make the propulsion cannon and then pathfinder. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna use... Oh, oh. Emits a sequence of waypoints. To mark your route and aid navigation in both terrestrial and aquatic environments. Sorry, I didn't expect it to have a voice line. Yeah, I don't know how much we're gonna use that because I don't think I've ever used that before, but I feel like we've seen it a couple of times now, so maybe it's something important that I'll need. As far as I can tell, it's mostly just for navigating. Leave yourself little pin markers, which I feel like could be really useful. I did get a tip for the propulsion cannon that I should go back to the Phi robotics area because apparently there was an area where there were some boxes where you need that in order to move those just to get some extra loot and stuff so I'm not in a huge rush to go but we could do that. I feel like propulsion can is just useful in general as well though. Oh interesting okay I didn't realize that when you craft with the half battery it gives it a half battery. I actually did that because I thought maybe it would just take the entire battery and give you a full charge. Maybe I should swap that one. We've got some here as well but just so it charges. I guess we can also swap this one out as well. Okay let's go ahead and head on out of here. Oh it's not here anymore. When I was gathering just a little bit of materials I backed up my sea truck a little bit because I wanted to just get a screenshot of the base. One of these modules, I don't even know which one it was anymore, but when I got in the truck, it fell off, I guess, and I didn't realize. So I tried to back up into it just to like reattach it. Bumped it twice and it broke and all the debris were here. And then I couldn't loot it. So then I had to remake my repair tool and all that kind of stuff. Super annoying, but at least now I know it's better to just pilot it on, I guess. Yeah, that was the only eventful thing that happened. I think my main priority today is gonna be the alien distress call origin. And then I was also thinking that maybe we go either back to the Delta station because there was a penguin thing there. Which at the time we found it, we didn't know it was a penguin thing, but it was just a little beacon that was like beeping. But I was also thinking of going over there, which I mentioned last time. That's the plan at least for now. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the alien distress call thing is gonna unlock, so it might change depending. I imagine this will be something important though because it was the first thing that we got in the game. So it wouldn't hurt to try and bring this in with us. Oh God. Oh, never mind. I don't think it fits. <laughs> Let me leave this here then. I forgot. I'm gonna turn the highlight color thing on just in case if there's any uh, PDAs and stuff. Hopefully, I won't miss them this time. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me in. Hello? Oh my Is God. someone there? Oh. The Roombas are back! Hello, little Roomba. Love him. From the first game. Okay, I wasn't expecting like a voice that what I could. Is all this? Oh, I'm sorry. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we can show ourselves, we would not need storage. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. Oh. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You were not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components behind their signal. Altera? No, my equipment is uh, borrowed. You will have to do it. Hmm, okay. What does that mean? Not with a group from before. So he is a Volterra and does that mean he met them? <gasps> Maybe he met Sam, her sister, perhaps? I miss these little guys so much. Okay, all right. I on. I'll take that. Please don't be mad at me, alien entities. <laughs> oh my, is that a giant How long ion? have you been stored here? Dead. Can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is complete. Yes. Okay. 
Hurrying. So is that them? It was kind of uh, fluctuating as it talked, which is interesting. Okay, not what I was expecting. I wonder if I uh, lowered the power by taking all the ion keys. Brace. Brace. Oh. What? No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My mind changed. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA! Get out! Oh no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic <laughs> components? My mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? <laughs> Xenobiology achievement. This isn't happening. Oh. This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. That was cool. So is he in my head now? Oh, I can scan this as well. <laughs> I wonder if I could have scanned it before it broke. Right? Architect containment cube. Sure. So what does that mean? He's in my head? Oh my god. He's become the little snail in my ear. I am listening to the snail. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Wait, before we move on, can I read that thing that we just scanned? <laughs> this one first. Architect containment cube. While advanced human civilization has attempted for centuries to develop successful whole brain emulation techniques, it appears that architect race has built a platform for accomplishing this holy grail of life extension technology. Physically, the containment cube appears to be comprised of redundant array of quantum holographic storage layers, supporting a hyper-dense capacity of 35 bit per electron. The energy field that feeds a suspended animated cube also serves to power the operating software allowing the intelligence and storage to maintain consciousness through the storage period. Once the storage consciousness has been transferred out of the queue, the containment parts will become inert without witnessing and carefully observing the backup process. It's difficult to ascertain how the transfer works and whether or not the process is truly lossless. What does that mean? <laughs> And then we also got the alien robot. I imagine this is going to be the same as uh, the first game, though. This device is of alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. Its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Simple design, construction elegant in its minimalism, or electromagnetic legs, allowing it to traverse floors, walls, ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are few moving parts, rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. The rechargeable iron-based I, 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 fuck, I can't. I, I keep wanting to say, I keep, well, what, what, what? keep wanting to say iron, iron instead of ion. A rechargeable ion-based power reserve ensures it continues to operate. Sure. Oh, I think this is the thing as well that we got last time. I don't even remember if we read this. Oh, please. This artifact's function is poorly understood, but scans indicate it is generating a strong electromagnetic field, some hypothesized function, energy transfer device, a geomagnetic scientific instrument, communication network node. Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe actually if we go over there or just to any of the alien things that the guy in my head will be able to talk about it or something. All right, so now what? <laughs> I was kind of thinking it might give us a new marker or like something to do, but maybe not. The alien will just talk to me on their own accord. <laughs> All right. T to answer, E to dismiss. We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual distinct. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seat code to my species designation. Please call me al -Ann. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient, space-fearing alien up close and... You're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? Alan. No, it's fine. It's perfect. Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls oh, us I'm... architects. The precursor race? But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes, fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. I have been disconnected from my network for so long, I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> I was really not expecting that. Research architect storage media. Okay. While we have evolved beyond physical attachment, it is traditional to navigate space-time in junction with mobile. I am 
mechanical storage media, altered and evolved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, there is some comfort and prestige in improving a body over time. We've settled on a popular format for these media, though there are exceptions. It is a heavily modified version of our pre-civilized bodies. It provides good mobility, easy adaption, and is easy to fix. In case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe, provided consistent power supply. However, unique perspectives and traits which arose from the interplay with the original mediums are lost, like a factory reset. It is recommended individuals be restored to a compatible medium as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using specialized blueprints and materials. While it is technically possible for an individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves, ad infinitum? Sorry, I don't know what that is. Such behavior is considered beyond rude, and any self-respecting architect would resolve such a circumstance by immediately deleting themselves. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I like Ellen. That's great. Okay, okay. Hold on. Before we keep going, let me pick this back up. Did he give me any new, uh, maybe not? Interesting. Okay, well, I'll mark this one as blue for now because I think we're finished with that. It still marks as yellow here, though. I don't know why. Oh, I didn't go back to that, uh, alien thing that we found. I don't know entirely where that was, though. So we need to find body parts. So I made a prawn suit. Would that count as a body for Alan? Maybe? <gasps> oh, fuck. Stop with that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me out. I keep thinking they're th these things because they blend it. Oh, this, I think this is where it was. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Alan, do you have anything to say about this? This is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network piece by piece. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm glad that I uh, went back to that then. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm trying to think like if there was more alien things that we had found along the way I just don't remember entirely where those were. Oh, actually there was at the fire robotics There was also the teleporter. So maybe say something about that. Oh, I'm getting another call How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Ellen. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings, each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I don't really know why I drove all the way back home. <laughs> Where should we go then? I was really hoping we would get new markers. Oh, I see the sensor. Okay, let's empty that. I guess we'll go over here then, since I wanted to check that out. Out. Okay, so this is my little marker for the checkout here. Oh, <laughs> bonked it. This is where there was a little hole in the water. Oh, I just brought it all the way over with me. <laughs> so I saw this light here and this here, and then I uh, ran away. So dangerous weather oh, approaching. Please, I just got here. How long do you think the weather is gonna last? <laughs> Oh, there's an actual whole thing in here. Oh shit, like a whole base. But the weather! Should've brought the peppies with me. Or at least a thermos or something. Let's just get out of here. we will be fine, maybe. Hello, snowman! Hey, can you destroy snowman? Why? Oh! <laughs> well, oh, and he's gone. My bad. Oh my god, it is so snowy. Okay, I'm just gonna dip inside and we'll look around out here because of the weather. I mean, I'm freezing. What did Altera use this place for? Researchers here were trying to find me. They were trying to find you? Why? Water filtration machine. It's so weird now. I feel like Robin just talks to herself and now someone's actually gonna respond. <laughs> Cool. All right. So dark in here. Oh, vending machine. I'll take it. Oh, I can open this. No. <laughs> I think that one was blocked with snow from the outside. Jukebox. Hide music survive. Sure. Oh, that was actually something that happened offline. I was gathering. I found another jukebox disc. It was just at the little little cargo thing that we grabbed last time. Because it was so dark, I didn't see it. And that was before we had turned on the highlighting thing. So I just grabbed it, but I didn't listen to it yet. Is this one one thing at a time? Motivational oh, take posters it. were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. <laughs> what? Why? Altera PDA. Alien Intruder, a game of deception, aliens, and paranoia. 
Oh, was that the game that they were uh, been playing this whole time? That's kind of cool. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Logs and communications, guide research station zero. It's your field. Stand tall, be singular. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Power cell charger or a fragment. We already have that. Okay, can I open this as well? Where does this go? Oh, there's like a whole thing. Okay, hold on. Can I scan this as well? <laughs> Bulkhead door. Oh, I see. Okay. So I guess if you want to make a door inside. Lantern tree. That was from the first game too. This was like food, right? Or water. Lantern fruit. Oh, indoor grow bed. I think I need that for the peppies. Okay, what about this? Altera PDA. Logs and communications task list. Look whose base this was then. Multipurpose glass dome. Oh, I didn't realize I could scan the whole thing. I want that at my base. That could be pretty. So is it just a multi-purpose room but with a glass top? God, no, we just built mine. Oh my god. All right, let's read what we've got so far and then we'll continue. Oh, there's so many things. Okay. Water filtration system. Draws water unfit for human consumption from external source. Automatically splits it into its constituent parts. That is so hard for me to read for some reason. And outputs consumable water and salts. While disposing of any harmful byproduct can be built in any compatible habitat module. It has substantial power requirements. So the Altera water filtration system any liquid into pure refreshing ph balanced water yes sir any liquid why do you say it like that like any liquid <laughs> okay interesting though that it also gives you salt i guess because it's taking the salt out of the water but then would it give you like a craftable salt maybe okay let's do this one alien intruder a game of deception aliens and paranoia six to fifteen people one player acts as game master and one player assumes the role of hive mind the remaining players are scientists on a research mission total players out of six of scientists are secretly alien and intruders. Hive Mind is the puppet master pulling the strings of deception, though they know who the aliens and scientists are. Player observes the game and tries to manipulate the alien intruders to eliminate all the scientists. Hive Mind wins if three-fourths of the scientists have been eliminated before completing all of their tasks. It's literally a mulger. <laughs> okay. We're probably closer to a game of like, what is that other game? Before Vogus. Scientist's job is to survive and eliminate the alien intruders or complete all tasks. The scientists do not know who the alien is, and scientists win if the aliens are dead or if they have completed all of their tasks. Game master runs the session and ensures the completion of the different cycles. Hive Mind will communicate their intentions directly to the GM and the GM will tell the players how their intentions play out. Phases. The game is broken up into days. Each day, the scientist and alien will choose to either perform a task or spy on another player. Then the Hive Mind tells the GM if they would like to plant a seed of doubt on which spy result. I mean, the way that they write the sentences, all of them feel like run-on sentences, so it's a little hard for me to read. I'm sorry. Uh, then the Hive Mind tells the GM if they would like to plant a seed of doubt on which spy result, if any. Or eliminate the spy target of the alien if applicable. I think it's like the commas are not in the right spot sometimes. That or I'm like misunderstanding. It has a lot more lore than I thought. Yeah, me too. Oh no, I lost my spy if applicable. Uh, this is done secretly between the hive mind and the GM. GM then reports back on the results of the player's spying efforts, influenced or not by the hive mind, after which the scientist slash alien may have a three minute meeting to discuss the day's events. They may then elect to eliminate a scientist with majority vote. Scientist alien go to sleep and start the next day's cycle. There is a fucking game that is this already isn't there i don't remember what it's called like i meme and say it's amogus but that like obviously that game was based off of something else oh, i don't remember the original name i know there's like town of salem where you play basically that the one adjacent to werewolf because i've never played werewolf but i played the other one and i don't know what the differences are mafia yeah yeah mafia oh my god i haven't heard of people playing mafia in so long do you know what the difference is between mafia and werewolf because i've never known but I, I i've heard that they're similar and then i feel like then when among us came out like it just became the new mafia and people stopped playing mafia so then maybe i was feeling very suspicious of Zeta just as a person but maybe I'm just feeling suspicious of her because maybe she's the alien intruder in the game and so that's why she's acting kind of sus. But I feel like she's acting kind of sus outside of the game too so I'm not sure. Oh one is just a simplified version. Oh I see okay I have no idea. That would make sense though a simpler one. I think probably Mafia is the simpler version of Werewolf then right? I feel like Mafia is quite simple. Okay guide research station zero. Oh, is that where we are now? Welcome to your home away from home on 4546B. This brochure will guide you through your new accommodations. Settle in. Sector Zero is comprised of two square kilometers of ocean bordered by mountain terrain to the north and west. This region of the planet is covered in snow and ice, left in a mostly permanent winter. Extreme weather events make for spectacular sky displays at all hours. For unknown reasons, it was selected by architects as a hub for their installations. Life in the area has flourished since the release of Enzyme 42 into the larger ecosystem. Wow, we did that. <laughs> Get comfortable. Research Station Zero features state-of-the-art facilities including three to six-person accommodations 
accommodations, full science and engineering section, leisure and exercise facilities, large grow room and water filtration unit for self-sufficient living, weather forecasting suite, prawn bay, oh maybe I can scan a prawn suit, that'd be nice, explore, you valued member of the frost pack have been chosen to occupy the main sector base just below the primary alien research site, from here you will conduct research into alien communications and technologies and conduct away missions to unoccupied installations elsewhere in the sector, oh okay, does that mean that the alien research site is here? Just below the primary alien research site. Like this place or just the general area? <laughs> I don't know. There's mountains gonna be, what was it again? On the north and west, what did it say? But then what's in the east and south? And then task list. Harvest produce, some grow beds, and plant new seed. To do, refill engine oil and coolant in progress. Document completed research samples done. Continue investigation of the force field mechanisms at research site zero in progress. Force field mechanisms? Send weekly status report in progress. Varnish prawn suits to do, repair base hatch door lock to do, prepare monthly patrol of remote installations to do, recalibrate navigation equipment done, inspect all cabin air filters to do. Okay, does that mean there's a base hatch door I can repair somewhere? <laughs> Maybe? Oh, it's so dark in here. Right, well, let's see what's over here, laboratory. Oh, this is like a big site. Interesting, right? Oh, Cat! Potato! Potato! I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. Yeah! Oh, okay. Don't take your kids to work day. What? Hey Sam, you want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. Of course. Hi, Oren. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working Cute on. names. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know, but you won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta or anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? Mm. So, what are you working on there? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so <laughs> that was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. Oh, she's so nice. I was a little worried about her because, well, I guess before we knew about Danielle. Was it Danielle or Daniela? Because I was worried that she was going to turn us in. She seems really sweet. Very trustworthy. Okay. I wonder if she was going to be trying to make, I don't remember what it was called, like a cure for it. The day that we read, they, they already knew about the cure, the enzyme. Enzyme 40 something, two, three, six. If they knew about the enzyme and that that was the cure sort of thing, then maybe she was trying to recreate it, which means I wonder if I could then recreate it. But they got a little alien Roomba in here. Oh, okay. Architect research notes. While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wait or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. Hmm, okay. No so. Much oh my god. Architects. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them, Volterran. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought it wiser not to take the chance. Did you kill her? What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> The way they said that was so obvious. Okay, interesting. Data box. Oh, control room. I don't remember what that was for. Oh, there's another iron keep here too. Oh, maybe killed our sister too. Can you imagine? Oh my god. The little drawings. I wonder if that's Sam and what was her name? Lily. Look at the horse. These are so cute. Except for the uh, dead ghosts floating around. Oh, that's a grave site. Okay. Why? An interesting drawing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Nothing to worry about, really. All right. Let me out. Oh my god, it's so bright. I don't know what to think about all of this. It's very interesting though. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back over here because I didn't get a chance to scan. Never mind. We already have that one. Are any secrets in the bag here or not so much? Oh, no. Cannot go back there. All right. <gasps> Ponzu. Yes. Ponzu MK3. Okay, sure. No, it's trying to snow again. Please give me a moment. <laughs> okay, well, before we go outside anyways, I think there was another hallway that we could go down in here. Maybe there's two hallways. Never mind. Oh, that looks like a penguin area, no? Borders. 
unless this loops back around. Did I bring him with me? I don't think I did. I'll just leave a beacon. Maybe penguin? Just in case so that I don't forget. Okay, so then this was also quarters though, so maybe it will loop. No, see, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, okay, so we can definitely go in there then. Wait, so whose room is this? Dr. Lillian Bench. All right. And a PDA. Counting down the days. Single bed? Okay, I'll take it. Pick a poster? Sure. More little drawings. All right, who's this was one? This Sam Space? Oh. What was she doing all the way out here? Oh, okay. And a PDA. No turning back. Why did I think that the Fi Robotics thing was her main area? Or maybe this was like her living area. Wait, but then didn't we already find her room there? Oh, well, I guess when we found her room though, we were like, was this her room? But it, something seems off. So maybe she just had two different- Oh, yes. Potato. Potato. You were a good cat. Were? What do you mean, were? No, potato. <laughs> I was hoping we could find potato and adopt him and bring him back to our place. Okay, before I forget, we should read those. Counting down the days. I think that this one was Lillian's. Uh, my darlings, Brian, Svea, and Oren, I'm counting the days until I can come home and give you all the hugs and kisses. Since my research project was canceled, they have me at a place called Outpost Zero doing nothing much. Just Cataloging things, plants, the occasional animal, but it's mostly ice where I am, so there's not a lot of new stuff to find. Svea and Oren, you know how you get bored when your hover dance teacher makes you practice skills 15 minutes over schedule and it eats up your freestyle time? It's a bit like that. But I have a new roommate, Samantha, a roboticist. You should see her little bangling box. Oren, you'd love them. But she got management upset. I guess this is just where they send you if they decide you're too much. Much trouble. Oh. I'm kind of glad she's here though. I was getting lonely. I'm still trying quietly. I don't want any more trouble to figure out where I went wrong. I was sure. I picked up a distress signal. I, I was right on top of it and then it just stopped. What if someone, an architect, is still down there and, and needs help? I'll be home before I ever get to find out and it will fall to some future researcher to come and find out, I guess. I, I hope. But oh, I can't wait to be home with you. When are you going to to send me some more art. There's still a patch of bare wall here that could use some color and a touch of genius. <laughs> I miss you. I love you. I hope you're still proud of me. I'm proud of you. Oh, good mom. She's so sweet. Okay, so maybe that's what Alan meant to stop her from getting too close. Just that they stop sending out the distress signal, maybe? The way it was worded, it seemed like Hilda or something. <laughs> so I wonder then if she got sent here just because she picked up the distress call and then couldn't find it. Or like, what was she doing before? Before. I don't know. That also makes sense why Sam had a place at the fly place and then now has a place here too. She literally got moved. Dr. Lillian Bench. Senior scientist, xenobiology. Reports to Emmanuel. Current project, maintenance. Previous project, architect intelligence. Oh, she got moved projects entirely. Wow. Okay. Interesting. And Samantha Ayu as our sister. Scientist, robotics. Reports to Emmanuel. Current project, maintenance. Previous project, spy pingling development. Oh, actually, you know what? I feel like I'm starting to remember it not about Sam, but I think it was about Lillian. I it was Fred that was trying to help her go down into the water and she wasn't supposed to go into the water at all. So maybe that's why. Okay, and then this one is no turning back. I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist. I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. Company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Pengling research caves, southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have huh? to carry out the plan. Wait, let me Focus, write it down. Be brave. Worry about what happens next, after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home, what? When they send me home, where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, I can get my Augie bun back. We can cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then, maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold. No more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> 
All right, now's my time. I've got this. Hmm, okay. She sounds very, um, scared, I guess. Well, I mean, I guess she did say that she was, uh, terrified. <laughs> so, but, but, you know, like, it, it's, it's interesting because scared of not doing it properly or of the virus getting out. Or maybe she's more so scared of the fact that she's, like, burning bridges with Altera. The thing that's weird to me is that she's so confident that, like, she'll go home after this and start her own team and, like, all these kinds of things, which are awesome. But it's, like, what happened then stopped her from doing that? Because obviously, you know, she's missing or presumably dead, right? Mm, okay. Right, we also got some habitat installations. So the control room, central part of outpost engineering created in response to environments with limited energy generation options. Centrally located 3D console provides an overview of current base layout. Interactive projection toggles power in individual rooms for finite energy control. Detailed wall-mounted display audits and discloses hull stability and energy consumption. Customizing station controls, identifying base details, including name and exterior colors. You can call Color your base? Oh. Atomic clock reports pinpoint accurate local time. Cool. I don't think I made one of these before, have I? Maybe we'll make one of those. Right, okay, we also did scan the prawn suit. I feel like that looks pretty much the same as the original game, but I don't really remember. Oh, no, actually, didn't we have, like, we had a head, didn't we? Oh, no, maybe it's because we saw Midas, so I'm remembering that one, because that does look the same. Okay, so the pressure reactive waterproof nano suit is a range of mechs designed to protect the pilots from extreme environments. MK3 is the latest iteration and has so far only been rolled out by Altera for their own high value phase gate related operations. Fully insulated from the outside environment, powerful hydraulic limbs allowed for manipulation of objects and power traversal for the environment. Rear mounted thrusters provide maneuverability in low gravity environments. A range of modifications are available to facilitate resource extraction and enhance exploration. Prawn suit, it's got you covered. Yeah, okay. I mean, I would really like this just for myself, but I am also curious if that would count enough as like a body for Alan to go into but I'm also like maybe we'll need like an alien suit very interesting I love getting to like learn more about all these little characters and stuff yeah so we'll have to try and come back to this maybe maybe there won't be anything in there maybe there will I don't know it's worth a shot alrighty let's go over here literally as soon as I step outside it starts snowing come on man I'm just trying to explore <laughs> I just wanted to check back here and make sure I didn't miss anything in here either but maybe there's nothing let's go this way. Did it stop snowing as soon as I came inside? Bro, the weather is trolling me right now. <laughs> Something down here? Just a little skating rink, maybe? It looks like I can go that way, but I also want to check out this. What have you got here? What is this for? Nothing that I can interact with here. <laughs> Why is this here, then? Maybe it's because if you hadn't scanned some of these things before, then you would scan them there? I don't know. Okay, well, that makes my decision easier to just go this way, I suppose. <laughs> Where are we going, then? Oh, alien thing here. Okay. Am I gonna freeze to death or something in here? I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh my, hello. Okay then. There's more of these little crystal things. Where is this going? Can I do anything with this? Maybe not. Coffee machine? <laughs> hey Alan, let me in. Oh my god, he actually likes me in. Maybe it's just because I touched it. Alan, what is this place? It is architect technology, standard for my people. Well, nothing that your people do is standard to me. What is it? This facility provides the means for rapid travel. It seems to be inactive. Without a vessel of my own, this site is not of any great utility. I see. Okay, so we need to get a body and then I guess come back here for some reason. Oh, there's another uh, thingy here. What were these called? Phase gates? An inactive one of these in uh, the fire robotics place. So maybe these are connected or maybe it will go to an entirely different one. I do feel like Alan is being a little secretive. This part looks like a gun, does it not? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe the gun from the first game. But then there's also this thing here, and he said he needs a body. So maybe we just need to get a body, put him in here. Oh, maybe this is for transferring in. I don't know. I guess that's it for Outpost Zero for now. But I do want to revisit for the penguin thing, and then obviously for the thing that we just saw. Okay, so then I'll remark this as Outpost Zero. Getting a call from Alan. Outpost Zero is where your sister worked her final days on 4546B. It is quite isolated. Yeah, I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but this is practically off the map. 
Sorry. A lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing, and not Sam. She must have been miserable out here. And they have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well-placed to answer my distress signal, but I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find. It was a calculation. <laughs> Calculated, bro. Okay. <laughs> the location oh. of some important technology. <gasps> I implore you to investigate. Yes. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Hmm. Okay. Uploaded to PDA. Yeah, let's go. Okay, thank God. Look, I don't know where I'm even supposed to start for trying to get the parts. Architect artifact. X3J. Okay. Very, very interesting. How far down is that? Is that relatively close to me? Yeah, we can just go there right now, I think. It's not that far off. Kind of looks like it might be in the sea monkey nest okay oxygen oh here oh so sneaky wow is this the one okay reassuring oh. and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long my connection to the network grows stronger however slightly i hope you will continue to search for more of these interesting okay oh god how did i get in here oh i wonder does that mean that i've technically already gotten some of them before because i remember we found a different alien artifact in one of the other sea monkey nests i don't no. Oh, there's another hole here. Unless this goes to the same area. Oh no, this is the same thing. Okay. So did he give me a new one then or not so much? Maybe I have to read it first. Where did I put my sea truck? Oh, monkey has stuff. Can I have that? <laughs> Do they always do that? That's weird. He's like uninterested in my stuff now. Really? <gasps> Friendly now? Oh, I love him. Why? I feel so honored. <laughs> Can I give you like a fish or something? Would you like one? <laughs> no, please. Oh my god, he just keeps giving me stuff. Okay. That's so cute. I wonder why, though. I mean, I'm glad for it if it means they're not gonna steal my shit anymore. Seems like they're totally uninterested. Can you bring me my sea truck? <laughs> I'm gonna find my car in a parking lot. I don't fucking know where I am anymore. Is it this way? Oh, here. You realize how far down I brought it? Oh, personal log. The gift of the sea monkey. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. How would I let them know, sorry, what I need? I wonder if I pin things, would they bring me materials? Maybe I have to give them a piece of material. Like if I need more diamonds, if I give them one diamond, would they give me like three? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let me go back to my base really quick. Is there anything else I got? Oh, yeah, we got one more thing here. Right, the water analysis station. This apparent research device seems built to determine the chemical components and properties of water samples. Possible applications, testing for levels of carob bacteria in the water, spectroscopic analysis, experimental application of light, heat, or chemical compounds via the cylindrical core at the center of the storage chamber. Huh. So then I wonder if like all of these things, like the alien data that we had picked up, or at least the bigger things, like this one we had gotten in the deep twisty, because we had scanned this last time, but then when we brought Alan there, he had something to say about it. But he didn't necessarily give us anything new, I don't think. Maybe the energy generator, would that technically count as well as one of these parts that we needed? I guess that was pretty much all we got. Well, I guess this one too. Everything else was, I guess, more so just media things. Maybe not. I don't know. Because there was one of the bigger power, I think the, the charging battery, whatever thing, was at the fire robotics. That was a pretty big area. I think probably bringing him to those things will give us extra dialogue, but I hope we don't need to bring him to all of them because I don't remember where all of them were. I remember some of them are, but uh, I don't know. Oh, there was also actually outside of Fire Robotics. When we very first found it, underwater, we followed the cord, and that brought us to like this icy thing. Be able to open that for us, maybe. The thought I had before we found Alan was that maybe we could use a laser cutter on it. And so far, we haven't really found any wrecks, so I'm wondering if maybe there are not really wrecks. Or maybe there are, and I just haven't found them because we haven't explored far enough. I'm not sure. Okay, okay, we got some new posters we can put up, most importantly. <laughs> right there. Wow. Oh, was this the one from the first game? This was the big gun. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Oh, I like that. What about this one? Oh, another spy pingling thing. We had a smaller one of these here. Oh, they're, they're literally the same poster. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe I won't do that. Put that there. Oh, that one's different. One thing at a time. Winning takes focus. Sure, let's let's do that. Is that the same one? It's your field. Stand tall, be singular. What does that mean? Okay, I think that's good. Maybe I'll put this one here. It's like with a crafting station, maybe? And then... Oh, no. I'm running 
coming out of space. Okay, wait, some of my bottles maybe there. Yeah, that's cute. And this one, I'm gonna put this one here. This one here. I've got to scatter my clutter. Why do I have so many of these? It's too much clutter. There's too much. That looks fine for now. Hopefully we'll be able to like build more stuff and then I can kind of spread things out a little bit. Oh, actually, wait, we did get um multi-purpose room glass dome. Oh, it's just a glass dome. So maybe I can just put this on my roof instead of needing to rebuild an entire thing. That would be kind of nice. Oh, I see. Architect of components, issues, skeleton, and organ. Okay, so maybe then we just need to find more of the alien bits that we've been finding and then with those be able to give us the blueprint for these. Maybe. Oh yeah, so we can make an indoor grow bed as well. This one, this one. <gasps> can we make a snowman? You need to make a rebreather to make the snowman? Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it. So can I just put this up top? Oh, I can. But then because my grow beds are there, I can't do it. But that makes me happy at least that if I don't have to remake the entire thing. Oh, actually, before I forget to prepare our truck because <laughs> we were kind of bumping around a bunch in this one too. Yeah, okay, so I need to move these. <sighs> Dang! Where am I supposed to put these things, huh? Control room. No space for this. Oh, maybe I have to rotate it. Why can't it go there, though? Oh, I guess I can do this, too. I kind of like that it was all my loot stuff, though. Maybe I should have made a large room after all. I wonder if I can make it up top, because we technically have a ladder. Can I make a vertical connector? Oh, I can. Let's see what happens. Vertical connector. <laughs> and then control room. Can I fit that? Of course not. Why would I be able to do that? It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, that's so annoying. What's the point? Might have to take these down. It's just annoying because it took so long to put all this together. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty though. Beautiful. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, my hull integrity. That's not so cool. Oh no. Um, how do I fix this? Can I deconstruct something? Can I take this away? Does that help? We still have negatives. Okay, that's great. That's really great. Why does this happen? How do I make a reinforcement? Why can't I put reinforcement? Reinforcements I'm right here. Why? Why? <laughs> what? You have to do it from the inside? You like need the wall to be clear? Is the trash can is here? I am so confused. Am I missing something? I thought you're supposed to be able to just put this anywhere. I take away this window. So we'll just go around and fucking repair everything. Hull integrity restored. Draining oxygen initiated. Oh my god. <laughs> so ridiculous. What is the point of the reinforcement if you can't fucking put it anywhere? Like I thought maybe because of the poster, but then I can't put it on this. Why can I do that now? Oh, because the window was there. But then this one, it wouldn't let me do it because there's an aquarium, but the aquarium isn't on the wall. It's on the ground. Let me take this down. I understand if there's something interacting with the wall, but if it's just in front of the wall, then why would that matter? Doesn't make any sense. Is this Recyclotron? Recycle items into their constituent parts. Oh, I didn't realize we could actually make one like that. Okay, I remake the aquarium. Oh, I don't know, man. It's very silly to me. Man, I kind of liked the window being there. I mean, I guess technically we've got this big window now, but you know. Now I'm scared to make other things because am I gonna have enough integrity stuff for it if I add it on a control room? I wonder if I could even fit the control room on this side. Maybe I have to make a ladder first? No. I make a vertical connector and then I go inside and then make a ladder. Oh, wait, it's not even... I have to make a hatch? Okay, but then this side i can see that it goes inside so why what <laughs> i don't understand isn't the whole point of this so that you can put something on top maybe it's because there's something in the middle of this room it kind of looks like it so then maybe i just can't do it for this particular room I'm trying to think what i can do then i'm annoyed that i can't put anything on this side either okay i can put a tea compartment here though <laughs> but then there's a fucking rock in the way that's so annoying <laughs> should have picked a better spot to put my base i think we'd be needing all these things what if i put it this way i fit it here here? Of course not. What if I went like this? Then I fit it? <laughs> Please. I feel like my only option is to put it at the front, but I don't really want to put it at the front. <laughs> but I won't have to take down my whole multi-purpose room just for that. Okay, give me a second. I need to turn down the heat. I'm melting right now. Even though it's snowing outside, so warm in this room. Still. I can't wait till I move, mostly just so I don't have to cook every time I want to stream. I don't really know what to do about the control room, honestly. I guess I could technically take down my bedroom too. Just make a long or hallway here and then move my bedroom somewhere else. I'll put so much work into baking it. Okay, let's take it down. Pick all of this up. I out a glass hallway. Add on there. In the control, there we go. you can change base lighting and colors. Rename your base and see information about power and structural integrity, but not 
disrupt the integrity of societal power structures. <laughs> no, alright. Okay, great, but then where do I put my bedroom? If I did this here, would I even be able to build something on this side? Yeah, I think the plants get in the way. The side the plant is in the way as well. And I wonder if I had a prawn suit, if it would be strong enough to like chop some plants all the way down. Do I even want this here? The main reason I had it there was because my bedroom was there, but now my bedroom's not there. Okay, so this is the control room. It looks kind of spiffy. Pretty cool. Oh, I see. This is my base. Oh no, it looks like a penis. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> It's ruined. Okay, structural integrity 15. Power. That's cool. Oh yeah, you can color it as well. I don't know what to call it. Water clocks. <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> Lavender. Wow, it's very herbal. Yeah, okay, why is this stripe still yellow? But this one, it was striped too. I need to be daytime so I can see properly. I can make a hatch right here. Secret lazy hatch. Yes. <laughs> I wish I could see the colors of this here. Navigate mini map. Oh, just of the base. I don't really know how much I'm gonna actually use this. I feel like it's mostly so I can see the structural integrity. I would like to add on my room again. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today though or not. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. We could try and bring our penguin back over to output zero and see what's in there, I suppose. Oh yeah, and I also want to make indoor grow beds eventually as well. I just need a bigger room. Maybe we will end up making the large room later. Oh, now it's daytime. We can see it a little bit better. It was so much cuter with my little observatory thing there. I don't know if I'm going to keep the control room or not. I don't know. Because I really only need it for the hull integrity thing, I think. Everything else is kind of like whatever to me. If anything, I'd rather put another multi-purpose room with this on it to make it like a bigger bedroom instead of the little glass one that we had. But I do like that you can kind of customize things, but I wonder if you take this down. <laughs> If you if you still be able to uh, have it purple and have it named still, I don't know. I might just have to like take down the whole thing eventually and just like shift it over or I don't know. I don't know how much I care. Because the thing is usually you end up making like a little mini base somewhere else anyways. So I'll leave it for now, but I might change it. Oh, I feel so thrown off now because I wasn't planning any of that. Um, Let's go back to outpost zero then. We'll try and do the penguin thing. It looks so nice in the daytime. I need a space like this. I wish I could just repair this base because there's so much nice open land here and it's starting to snow again. <laughs> Do you think I would get quite lazy though having to open doors like this every time because it's just quite slow. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can actually do this. How do I place you? Just like that. Okay. And then, oh, there we go. Okay, because I couldn't get this to work properly before. Oh God. It's kind of awkward to control though. What's in here? Am I meant to come in here? Oh yeah, a battery. Sure, power cell. That's kind of cool. Very awkward to control though. Oh, so many batteries actually. So is it mostly just for loot then? Filtered water. Oh my God, that's so weird. You can just see yourself. Oh, interesting. In the corner as well, there's a companionship level and infiltration value. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Cute and storage. I see. Okay. okay. Well, I don't need the beacon there anymore then, I guess. I think because it was quarters, we would get like actually useful stuff like PDA or something. It says to where to go next. Hey, okay, that's so weather sorry. Approaching. Every time I walk outside, man. Every time. Where should I go? Oh no, it marks itself. Water clock is on my thing. Oh. <laughs> Well, let's mark that green. Yeah, let's just go back to Phi. I might not be able to do the entire Phi thing because there's like so much. I don't know if I'm ready to deal with the snowy lads there either. Or a base when it's purple really does just blend in with everything, doesn't it? <laughs> From far away at least. I'm gonna bring the hydraulic fluid with us. Oh yeah, we can do the propulsion cannon actually while we're there as well. Oh no. Cool. This is the thing for grabbing things and moving them out of the way. I would like to also follow the cord. Did we land on top of these things? Because these are quite chunky. Maybe not. I feel like usually when I'm crossing over this way, it's nighttime. But it also might just be too tall. Anything on here? What about on here? I kind of wish that there was like more stuff to explore up top. Oh, that guy's new, I think. Have I seen him before? Oh, I haven't seen these guys before. Hello? You're so cute. Here's my scanner. Now can I scan you? Yeah. Pinnacree, they're so sweet. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's because of that. I thought I I thought I <laughs> hurt them or something. Okay, I mean there's quite a bit of land here, but I don't know. Oh, there's a thing right there. Can I make that jump? Oh my ankles. Dangerous Holy. Seek shelter. Wow. Okay, but I'm gonna fucking freeze to death unless- Can I go down here? Okay, if I push right up against this, <laughs> I'm protected. Will I be able to get out though? No, of course not. 
As long as I don't freeze while in the pangolin. Okay, here, hold on. I think I'm close enough here. Please give me something useful. What is this? Gold. Okay, sure. There's gold. <laughs> Right, maybe these will not be as useful as I thought they would be. Yep, that's it. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll take it. Not sure that was entirely worth the time, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> Anything else here? There's more of these here. No PDAs. Oh, hold on. I forgot to turn on this again. Okay, now everything's highlightable. Is that a thing I can get? No, it's just lighting. I need the weather to clear up so I can fucking see. It does look like I can walk along this whole thing, and I'm like... Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm glad if I can explore, but I just want there to be a reason. <laughs> can I go over there? Kind of looks like I should be able to. Oh my god, my ankles. Oh, okay, it's fine. I don't know if I can jump that. Maybe from the other side. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, it's fine. It's just one of those. It's just so fucking noisy. <laughs> I didn't realize that any of those guys were gonna be over here either. How far have I gone? What? Calm down. Oh, we're all the way over here where the thermal things are. Okay, that makes sense then as to why those guys are here. Stop shivering so loud. <laughs> it doesn't really seem like there's any way to get up there. Any goodies over here? I should have brought my truck. Do I have a flare? Would that work? You dislike flares. Okay. Oh. Seems like he doesn't fucking care at all. What if I throw it? <laughs> Warning. Guess that didn't work. <laughs> I mean, I could jump like this. Oh, oh, let's go. Okay. If there will actually be anything up here. <laughs> like with how hard it was to jump, probably not. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. Can I go in there? I feel like that looks like a place I could go. I don't think I can make that jump though. Hold on, let me save. I wonder if I could jump it with this. Oh, maybe it's because I need a prawn suit. Oh, no. <gasps> no way. There's no way I can get up there. Okay, I probably need a prawn suit and or I'm meant to come in through the other way. Yeah, there was really nothing on these, which is a bit disappointing. I think my main complaint so far about this game, because I like a lot of things, like the quality of life is a lot better in terms of just like some niceties they've added, but I feel like the world feels really empty and I feel more directionless sometimes, which can just make it feel quite slow at times, but then other times it's filled with stuff. It's just the empty parts are really empty. If I find myself in this one when there isn't a direct story, like a beacon or something, a marker for me to go, then I'm a lot more, okay, what am I supposed to do then? <laughs> like this entire area could have been really cool with these giant jellyfish, but there's just a whole lot of nothing in it. Like if you actually go to the bottom, there's not much. I mean, there's this cord, which I did actually mean to come back to as well. So we'll do that now. But in the whole rest of this kind of circumference, there's not much of anything. It just feels like they could have done something cool with it. Okay. Let me see if I can do anything. Alan, you got anything to say about this? No. Okay then. I might need to bring my laser cutter then. I was hoping maybe it would trigger something for Alan. Like a little voice line or something. Let me see if this works. Oh yeah, I guess it's my first time bringing this out. Nothing? No. Okay. So I must have to come in from the end side then. To the bridge and the first penguin thing. Depending where the bridge takes us, we might go there or otherwise, I'm not sure. In Subnautica 1, my exploration was awarded a little bit more. Versus this one doesn't feel as rewarding to just like pick a direction and go. You know what I mean? There is some kind of oh my beyond this bridge. Sorry. It was important to Otera, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so, yes. I like his voice. That's kind of nice. All right, necessary repairs. Repair the bridge achievement. Sure. Oh, I see. Extend. Wow. Pretty neat. Oh, and you can do it from the side too. Why would you want to retract it again? I wonder. Layer. Oh, I'm getting cold. What is this about? You came within range oh. of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. What's that sound? You must continue to investigate. Okay, I must. Huh? Like I heard a spooky noise <laughs> before I get too ahead of myself. But oh, there's a thing here too. Okay, okay, okay. Take this. Water. Yeah, because we've already gone here and gone into the little thing down there. Oh, maybe that's what he's talking about. I don't know. Do I want to go that way or was there anything over this way as well? Kind of looks like you should... What is that sound? That sounds scary. Unless it's just more of the little snow dog guys. And when I say little, I mean big. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me go this way. Go this way as well. Oh, it's so cold. Get me in there. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's nothing, right? Okay. 
thing over there. Where am I going? I'm wondering if I should have gone the other way first. Where is this? Oh, that's kind of cool. What is all this stuff? Oh, I can go down. What is that? Diamond. Special equipment required. Oh, okay. So I need the prawn suit for that then. I need to drill that. Oh, unless I can use this. That'd be kind of nice. Take these. Take this. Purification. Data box. And PDA. Oh, I didn't see the first one. Oh, you need special equipment to get this too. Thumper. New it holds a thumper. Okay. All right. And we're getting cold. I should have brought more heating things with me. Let me get back in cover before we read anything else. PDA. Thumper upgrades. The finalized thumpers are pretty useful. The original versions were pretty bad. These guys give us almost double the time to explore some of the mineral rich notes. The vibrations of the ice worms sometimes knock loose some pretty valuable stuff. Ice worms? What does that mean? If you take the time to search for it. I wonder how all these minerals even got trapped in the ice. Oh, so maybe that's what the thing is that kind of like nestles ores and stuff in cracks of things maybe that's what that is i was wondering i was kind of thinking maybe it was some sort of creature that stores them there for like safekeeping but maybe not oh yeah this was the other thing that we had gotten pinnacarid intelligent and curious creature which hunts and forages below the water line and returns to the surface to breathe its many flippers make this an acrobatic hunter underwater but vulnerable on land where it's capable at best of fast shuffle it generally consumes small fish its diet may also include various plants side facing eyes unusual for a predator these likely serve as a defensive warning system purple tinted antenna on the head detect movement of prey fish nearby. Shows no aggression towards human and even curiosity if there's a small chance of a meal. <gasps> Can I feed them? Cute. Okay. And then the thumper. Thumper is a simple device that sends high impact sonic impulses down through a tetrapod base, potentially disturbing would-be underground attackers in a small area. The weighted disc extends from the top of the device and is propelled to the surface in isochronal cadence. The thumper. A headache is a small price to pay. Is that the- what did they call it? Ice worm? Snow worm? How big is that? I was imagining like little worms nestling in the ice, but now maybe I'm thinking it's a big worm. I wonder if that's the big sound I've been hearing. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Is this where I just was? <laughs> what is that? What? <laughs> uh, what do I do about that? <laughs> what? You think they don't like flares? <laughs> Okay, so I guess we've got our answers. It's a big, 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 big worm. Bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Where am I? How did I get here? Someone turn on the lights. Yeah, hold on. Let me get in cover if I can. Copper, silver. This is not in cover. I'm gonna fucking die out here. Here? 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 Nope. Well, I'm dead then. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, you died and lost some blinds. I have been able to sense the location <sighs> of an important artifact. Oh, now you get something I important. Its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Right. Signal location uploaded to PDA. You couldn't have done that before I died. Oh, all my stuff, please. Let me grab all the more important things, honestly. Is there a heat vent here? I feel like there was one, please. <laughs> Any time, okay. I don't know if there's more things to explore that way, which is kind of why I was trying to go that way before, but I'm kind of feeling Feeling like I am under leveled for what I am needing, which makes me hesitant to go over this way as well. Why can I come this way? Oh, maybe it's just a big loop. There's really no heat vents over here or anything. What the hell is this about? Okay, um, I'm gonna put down a beacon, revisit, and then I'm gonna leave because I'm gonna freeze to death again if I keep going. <laughs> I think what I need is to make the snow fox probably so that I can wander around faster instead of just running on foot. Also, probably need to bring just like more cold I things with me. Yeah, I might die again, honestly. Unless there's like a beautiful little warm pad somewhere that's gonna pop out of the ground for me. Some steam. Yeah, I'm about to die again. And okay, I'm gonna die right here, so at least I know where my stuff is. Oh, so annoying. I didn't bring another thermos though, did I? No. Oh god. Oh my goodies. So much, so much silver. Grab it all, get all this goodies. At least there's a heating pad right there. Kind of what I was looking for before, but I am gonna go over this way because I feel like that probably leads into a loop to where we just were. This seems like its own little thing, unless that also loops over. There's a light here though. No, this just loops. Okay, then I'm gonna go the other way. Might just have to revisit this entire area later. There's a thing there. Oh, that is my revisit thing though, so maybe it is just a bigger loop than I was expecting. I'm trying to grab whatever it is in here. What you got? Water, first aid, PDA thumper, and batteries. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder that goes down there. Data box thing. Oh, I already have it apparently. Another PDA. 
tunnels. Okay, should I go into the tunnel? What do you have down here? So much silver and titanium. The thing is about like things like this is I feel like by the time you have the prawn suit and I imagine you have to get the drill arm separately as well in this one, you will already have a sufficient amount of supplies for the thing that you would have drilled for. That's kind of how it was in the first game as well at least. Okay, yeah, so this is a big loop back to this thing because it seems like it goes even farther in there. Oh, I'll just have to come back, I think. Please don't kill me again. <laughs> Put away some of the materials we got. Silver. There's so much silver over there. Oh, so the thumper is something that I make for myself, like as a tool? Magnetite. I don't have that on me. But I know I have some back at my base. Or maybe like one. We really didn't have very much. I think the majority of that stuff that we got was... I think we had gotten it in one of the kind of like material cracks in the wall. We'll do the penguin at the fire robotics, I think, and then we will head back. I think I'm gonna need the snow fox thing for this area. Both for the area we were just at and then also for the snow lab we should revisit at some point as well. This is what I need. More of these. I'm gonna grab these ones as well. I'm gonna stand by this so that I'm less likely to freeze to death. And hopefully we've got something of value in here other than just quartz and things I can get not on here. Oh, well, magnetite. That's worth it. Is it all just quartz otherwise? Man, wasting my time. Wow, that's ice. So I wonder if all of the penguin things are just gonna be kind of for like some little extra extra materials. Save for maybe that one that we got the PVA thing for that mentioned it was like to the right or to the left of wherever the frozen leviathan was. Dangerous which I Seek think yeah, yeah, yeah. we had in the data bank somewhere in the maps here because this one was circled so and this is where we are right now. Right right there was also this area that we could go to to the right and then this is where the snow lads we had first kind of poked our head into so once you go in there and or this if you pop out here maybe. I don't know if I you want to go there without the snow fox though. But I did need to revisit this place anyway because here I wanted to revisit this with Alan. Okay? <laughs> Nothing at all, Alan? Oh, there's materials up there. Can I grab that? Oh, maybe I can't. Wait, I just want those. What is it though? Magnetite. Oh, I'll gladly take those. Yes. But I think here is where I needed to move, yeah, some boxes anyway. Not that one. This one? No? Should probably organize these nicely, huh? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna end up blocking off the area to this. See, because there's stuff in there. Why can't I pick this up all of a sudden, though? Did I accidentally wedge it in even more? Or... <sighs> Why? <laughs> I picked it up a second ago. And I can pick up this one. Did I really fuck it over? What if I click unstuck? Nearest available location. Maybe it will teleport me to the other side. No. <laughs> Fuck. Really? When was the last time I saved? Half an hour ago. Ugh. Like, I haven't had this many issues before, like, in the first game either. Oh my god, we were all the way back here. God, I thought we were FI already. Holy shit, man. Well, the upside is that we didn't find anything exciting during that period of time anyways, <laughs> other than doing the bridge, which I can just redo. A couple of PDAs so I can just go back and pick those up, but that is a bit annoying. I thought we saved after I died, but apparently not. Why can I come here? There's no reason. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so annoyed at this game today. Let's try this again. I'm gonna save. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. Saving again. <laughs> okay, please tell me you have something worth it in here. Crafting things. Many, many flares. Batteries. I will take the batteries. Health kit. What about these things? Yeah, kind of. Not really. I'm more looking for this one. The magnetite I'd rather have. Just grab all of these. I can't pick this one up. My inventory's full. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the purification things because technically we don't need water. I was thinking maybe we would need it for something else, but we've already got a couple and I can always come back. That was so annoying for what it was worth. <laughs> On the map as well for this area. Yeah, okay, so there's a thing here that we can go to as well. And I'm not sure if I should wait till I get the snow thing and or probably like a prawn suit to come in here though. That kind of seemed like it was like a big loop. So I'll drop a beacon here instead. Right of thigh. We'll revisit that when I'm better equipped to handle the snow. I wonder if it would almost be worth it to make like a mini base in here. I need to re-put down the bridge. Maybe I need to just get Alan to give me that dialogue of like there's something close. Oh, should I just go grab those things now? I feel like there was PDA stuff that we needed to read. I feel like we hit one 
another place, but I don't remember where that was. Hypothermia imminent. I know. Looks like that's an area I can go into. I think I'm gonna die. Please don't fucking kill me again. I don't remember where I am. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I just want to fucking look around. And I didn't have a beacon because I dropped that beacon there, so I don't know where I dropped my other shit. And I had all the other magnetite. I technically did save. I could just go back on the save, couldn't I? I'm tired, boss. Even if I can just run the opposite direction of the way that I did go, then at least I'll be able to bring it somewhere that might be more recognizable. I just need to explore this at literally any other time. Okay, so we'll come back then for wherever these areas were. I want to bring Alan over here, see if he has any sort of dialogue about this area, perhaps? Another site found. Thank God. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. Please, anything useful would be good. I data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. Thank God. I will provide a signal. Thank you. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Appreciate it. See, because then it makes me wonder why the other place that we had didn't work for that. And it's like, I don't know which things I need to revisit or not. It makes me just feel like I should have gone to the alien distress call before anything else, like before exploring at all, which is like kind of annoying I guess because then I'm like having to try and remember where I can backtrack before I even knew that I would need to remember those things. <laughs> Does that make sense? I feel like if I've already visited it then maybe Alan should be able to just hit it for me before he answer your call. How humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you? Rude. My body is anything but inferior. <laughs> I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, I don't. But its overall <laughs> form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you That's don't true. find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent, but all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Quite noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> that one looks kind of far, the body cache. Then this one looks not as far. I just don't know how far that actually is. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go back to the delta penguin thing as well. Okay, let's just see how far this actually is. If this is just in the twisties, then I'll grab it. But if it's like, it looks like that, but it's actually farther, then maybe we should wait. Mm, it might actually be in the thermal area now that I'm looking at it. Hold on, I spotted a lithium. I just, <laughs> I just want to grab that. Okay, well, I was wanting to come back to the thermal at some point anyway to go and explore, so it's kind of nice that it brings me a marker at least. So the transmitter was on that side. I kind of wonder if I can just swim around that side instead of running. Maybe we'll find something new, perhaps. I've definitely never gone through this little valley here. I don't even know what's beyond Delta, to be honest, because there's more purple stuff here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I wanted to explore purple stuff as well. We like kind of poked our head in on it, but like didn't really explore them. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Should I do that first? Hold on, let me save. <laughs> and now I feel like so paranoid about saving. I don't even know if there's gonna be anything over here. Oh, that's back to the thermal already. Oh, this area is a bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be actually. Repair really quick. <laughs> What's that? This looks kind of cool. It's almost like a little garden. I like how I came over here for the penguin thing and I'm immediately doing something else instead. I just feel like the penguin things have not really actually given me anything good. That sounds like something else. Did you see it? What is that? What the fuck? Hey buddy, can you bait for me? Maybe he would want to eat a big scrumptious lad like yourself. Where did it go? I didn't think we were gonna get leviathans out here. I don't like it, boss. Maybe just a tad nervous. <laughs> Trying to see if I can find PDAs or like any scannables. Can't tell who's making what sounds because they're kind of similar, but kind of not at all. <gasps> He's right above me. Oh my, oh. Why can't I scare your fucking tail? Please! Holy... Okay, this is so stupid. Okay, okay. I'm saving. <laughs> I don't think he knows. Maybe he's got a blind spot back here. How would he know? 
we should really leave though. All right, that's... How many of them? Two? Hold, we can repair. How much damage did you do? Oh, you did a lot of damage actually. Yeah, friend. <laughs> He's so friendly. He just wanted to give us a little hug. I can't even imagine coming here at night. He's so hard to see even when it's light out. Okay. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that guy's kind of fucking big. Oh. Um. Okay then. Excuse me. Excuse you. Okay, let me just repair really quick. And maybe I'll just save again. Um, no reason. So he's definitely faster than my truck, which is a little bit alarming. Maybe very alarming. There's a brute shark here though. Where am I? What kind of section is this? And what am I looking for? This looks like it's all become barren though. Oh, there's a wreck here. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Oh! Of high pressure and temperatures. I didn't think we were gonna get any wrecks because I hadn't seen any this whole damn time. Okay, hold on. Is this a scanning thing? Yeah, I haven't seen this one before. Spiral plant. Sure. Can I pick some up? Oh, actually, I recognize that icon. I think we need that for crafting something. Where am I? This area is way bigger than I- And you can go down. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Is this new? Is he truck docking module? Do I have this already? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Nice. I will take it. Oh, this is new too, isn't it? Never mind. I can't pick that one up. I wonder if I can plant these at my house. I don't know if we need them for anything. God, how far down can you go? Oh, you can kind of go down a lot, huh? Oh god, this looks like a whole area. Uh, okay. We might have to come back here at another point, maybe. And I should put a marker on that wreck thing, too. Unless I just explore it now. I mean, it didn't look that big. Should I go in here, bro? I mean, I guess we could take a peek. I don't know. I'm just a little worried with uh, the big leviathan lines outside. Oh, actually, we should read about that before we go in. Chelus? Chelus, right? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce. Rest of Leviathan with an enormous beak. Given a knowledge of this alien monstrosity at the time, as many on 4546B hope it stays that way. Chelusserae. These large mandibles of the Chelusserate are composed of a bony material that crushes and saws through bones and muscle with ease. The mandibles open up while the backward facing teeth dig into the flesh and prevent easy escape. Prey is pulled towards the mouth and devoured. The body is made of thick segmented exoskeleton, which grows in flexible overlapping plates provides protection from the atmospheric pressure while giving it maneuverability and easily pursue prey. It's a predatory animal that patrols the warmer waters found near thermal vents. It can be seen feeding upon other predators and fish. As it attacks, it emits a loud screech that disorients its prey. In smaller fish, it can temporarily stun them, which gives it more time to attack. And then there's a void version? What is the void? What do you mean? A rare mutation of it that prefers to roam in dark open waters at the edge of the sector. Oh, what is it? of that in the first game. Okay, so assessment, avoid, aggressive, and potentially lethal. Yeah. Okay, and then we also got the docking module. It must be attached as the final module to function. The module is powered by the sea truck's main cabin. Prawn suit not included. Oh, okay, so for docking the prawn suit onto it like this, I see. Okay, cool. Okay, let me put away these. We're just gonna risk it, I guess, but we are gonna save just in case. <laughs> what is this? Metal salvage. Sure. Scattered wreckage. Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, that was like from the first game. I honestly just thought we wouldn't have that here. This will pick some of this up. I'm gonna drop a beacon here as well. A little wreck, just in case I die. <laughs> Should I read that before we go in? Scraps may be reclaimed for their titanium content at any fabricator. Oh, okay, sure. Can I do that right here. Interesting. Okay, so it gives you four. Right, right, right. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Let's go into this wreck. Metal salvage. Okay, I'll leave that for now. What do you have in here? Any useful things? Copper wire. Command chair. I think we have this already, don't we? Oh, we didn't. Okay. Music player. Sure. A new one. Miracle sound deep blue cut open to access oh sealed door oh i think uh where's my laser cutter it's still in my truck hold on we'll come back then yeah i'm so glad for this highlighting thing it's way too difficult to see oh you have to cut open access for this one too supply crate interesting okay so i'll pick those up I'm right here so i'm not too worried about it actually maybe i'll bring my mineral detector thing as well i don't think i've ever had to cut open a crate what did i just pick up reactor rod used to power nuclear reactors huh oh maybe this this cuts very slowly <laughs> I wish I could actually guide where it goes. Okay. Parallel processing unit fragment. Sure. Oh, it's just a uh, fragment, not an actual thing I could pick up. Is that in here? I mean, I could tell it was a small thing, but I thought there would be a little bit more. What about mineral detector? Can I scan like PDAs? Fragments you can scan. I guess that could be useful depending on the area. Doesn't look like there's anything here though. Maybe I can't do uh, PDAs though. Oh, you can scan for pingling research though. That's interesting. Uranianite crystal? Have we seen that? Why can I scan for that? I don't know what that is. Let me just check around. 
just make sure I'm not missing anything else. Okay, it looks like that was it. What about on the top? Relax. Oh my god. Go away. How did I grab one of you? I wonder if I could like trick it. Because they technically eat these too, I think, right? Oh, he keeps going. Okay, I thought maybe if he eats something he would stop thrashing, but maybe not. Okay, okay, okay. So what was this? Reactor rod. What do I do with that? It seems important, so I guess I'll put it away. <laughs> I don't know if I should leave this marker for the little wreck because we've already looked through it. I guess I'll pick this back up. There was really not much, so. Oh, I don't think we've been in an area that has these things. We got into a new biome by accident. Oh yeah, this, this looks maybe different. Blooming raindrops. Cute. This looks kind of pleasant in here. What are you, Arrow Ray? A little guy. This area's kind of pretty. New creature discovered. Purple cattail. Oh, okay. Should I be gathering some of these? I don't know. Sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. I feel like this area looks like it will be more peaceful. Oh, you look new too. Newt fish. Okay. I'll pick you up, your friends now. <laughs> oh, these are cool. That area looks a little spooky. Can I cut this? Oh, I can scan it actually. Adolescent lily pad. Seedling lily pad. Okay. What is all this? They're like little islands. Warning. Oh. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, 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 okay. Don't die. Oh my god, I swam so much farther than I thought. Please. Let me in. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, maybe I should leave a marker at this wreck. I was just supposed to go back to Delta to do the damn thing. I'm just gonna leave the beacon here after all. Little wreck and... What are they called? Lily? Okay, so newt fish. <laughs> They're so cute. Small predator which eliminates the need to overcome its prey by simply swallowing it whole. What is that? Okay. Colorful markings the newt can easily pass for a small herbivore, allowing it to sneak up on its prey. It looks like a beak is in fact a single stretchy, sendable lip lined with barb-like teeth, drawing it inside its stomach before retreating for several weeks to digest its meal. Oh, okay then. Arrow ray. Relatively small ray species capable of fast evasive maneuvers. Feeds on plankton. The fins on its head form an isosceles triangle, which it can tilt to perform fast and unpredictable maneuvers. Sharp upward fin tips are capable of spearing attackers who manage to catch up. Mostly harmless. Okay. Okay, so adolescent lily pad. Grows towards the sun. Main leaf unfurls into a fan shape and cluster of smaller seedlings along the base begin to twist around the main stem, forming a thicker stem. More firmly anchored to the ground. Okay, but what are you for? Blooming raindrops. These ones were pretty. I think some of these are literally just plants to be plants. I feel like we will need to revisit this then to go into the lily pad area, I guess. What's that? Are you friendly? Because you move so slow, so it makes me think you're a whale. Oh, you're totally a whale, aren't you? I must scan this guy. He is a friend, I think. Hello, whale. Cute. Oh, you are a big glad glow whale. Oh, I love him. Are you friendly? Yeah, you are. Oh, I love him. Interact? <laughs> yes, good. Thank you. I needed this. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> Of course, the big gentle whales would be in like this lily pad section. Thank you. We are friends now. There's so many of them too. I love that. They look like little bunnies with their horns. <laughs> See a light over there. Last known. Oh, we're really There's close a to Mita. This mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I interact again? Does my oxygen still go down? Oh, it does. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Um, I should get my truck then. Oh, I want to explore this area. This one is nice. Oh, it's like stairs there. Whoa! You are so talented. <laughs> oh, we're kind of close. Oh, it wasn't stairs. Sorry, what is this? Aquarium module fragment. Aquarium module? For the sea truck, you can bring an aquarium. Even though you're literally in the fucking ocean. <laughs> maybe I'll just go along the edge of it. Oh, so maybe that's why there's brute sharks here. As long as there's not like the big, big spookies here, then I'm happy. I'm just gonna keep looking around. I feel like I should- The ending stone of an astronautical salt transcove vessel nearby. Huh? Vessel name, Mercury 2. Mercury 2. Did you leave me a marking? Oh, it's literally in front of my eyes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this looks like a much bigger wreck. Oh, okay then. Man, I really wish I had my other oxygen tank with me right now. I get in right here. Oh, I can't go in all the way. Oh boy. Okay. I read about the glow whale. Yeah. Glow whales are communal leviathans approximately 30 meters long, often found swimming in the open ocean and occasionally breaching the surface. Photophores? Glow whales contain several types of bioluminescence. Perhaps the most noteworthy are their photophores, which are incandescent glandular organs found at the corner of their eyes and pods at the tip of their sail-like pectoral fins. 
Incandescent. Oh my god. I hereby name all my glow whale friends Solaire. <laughs> the glow whale's blue horns behave similarly to tuning forks. The horns receive waves of sound in the water and help glow whales identify members of their pod from a distance. This ability is also used when hunting shoals to determine positioning of potential food sources. When pods of whales are at play, they emit a harmonious series of notes that resonate in their horns and release a series of chemicals that appear to create a joyful response in nearby whales. The nose frequency is too high to be heard by human ears. Passive harbors barnacles and algae. The boys are loaded with RGB. Oh, my incandescent lads. I love them. It makes me feel better about the whole entirety of the rest of today, how it went. Okay, so aquarium module. Collect live specimens from surrounding water and deposit them safely and humanely inside glass tanks, which can then be accessed from inside the sea truck. Many years of technological endeavor produced the pressure resistant single sheeted nano reinforced glass of the tanks. Remarkable feat of engineering. Okay, it's an aquarium. I'm gonna save. And then I suppose we shall go in. We still have not gone back to the penguin thing, but also we do not have my other oxygen thing, which is why I'm a little bit concerned. Oh. I don't have uh let's cut this open because it's gonna take a while. I don't remember what I was saying anymore. I was I was supposed to go back to Delta to get the penguin thing, but I feel like now we're all the way out here. So I'll have to go back to the regular thermal vents and oh it's a bright explore underneath there too. Oh okay, I bet you I can move this with propulsion tank. Can I see I'm scared of fucking up these boxes after all the shenanigans from before, so maybe I'll just save. Oh, I can't lift this one. There we go, that works. Mostly just salvage in here. Oh, we got another reactor rod thing. Sure. Hold on, I'm gonna top up on this. I feel like I'm gonna get lost in here. I'm a little worried about it. Cause there's an upstairs too. Try to stay on this floor if I can, I guess. Metal salvage, metal salvage. Oh, maybe that was it over here. Okay, I'll try and pick up some things as well. Battery, salvage here. Oh, you can go from the bottom. Anything else hiding in here? I was hoping for some like PDAs and stuff. I mean, I'm happy to take the loot, but I don't know, I was hoping for something more. I mean, maybe there will be on the other floors though. I'm just gonna empty my pockets first. Not that we've gotten that much, but just in case if I die. <laughs> okay, let's go up this first staircase. Oh, okay. This first staircase, actually. Laser cutter fragment. Oh, we already have this. Open this one. Oh my god, we've been going almost five hours again. Sorry, I feel like today really got away from me. <laughs> doing a bunch of things I didn't expect to be doing. Oh my, it's so bright. Wow. Hey, battery, salvage, supply crate. I don't need that, actually. I'll leave that one. There's a thing down there. What's this for? Oh my god, I'm gonna get lost. Oh, another one of these. Okay, sure. Scan that. I need one more of those, it seems. We pop up here for this thing. Let's go. Oh, there's a PDA. Nice. Is this? Oh, is this the last one? Your little processing unit fragment. Okay, good. What else we got in here? A lot of supply crates with like power cells and batteries, which I do appreciate. I feel like I make a lot of them, but then we just end up crafting with them half the time anyways. Is this where we were? Okay, we've been here. Up another floor, perhaps. More metal salvage. Laser cutter fragment. I don't need, and I don't need that. What about this one? More metal salvage. Ooh to try and come out of. Oh, okay, now we're just exited. So many little ways that you can come in here. Oh, we're literally just on this side. Okay, okay. We'll top up oxygen, I guess, for now. How do I get in there? Oh, it looks like I can go up from the top. One in this way. And hopefully I remember my way out. Is this the area? I think this was maybe the window that we saw. Or another window. Like it. Don't need those. Okay, yeah. And then I said that it looked like you can go from the top. Okay, so maybe I just need to look up. Gamers do not look up. <laughs> I'm worried I'm missing more things, but I don't know for sure. PDAs mostly and blueprints that maybe are only for here. I have no idea. So we've got two things. How many do you think are in here? Should I look it up to see how many? So that if there's only two, I don't have to waste my time more. But there's apparently nine, so I need to find, I guess, a second Mercury thing and then find the rest of the PDAs there, I guess. A glowing picnic from Yasmin. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, uh, how to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11 and he always greets me by saying Kalimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest role. Oh, she has a crush. Not the morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face and twirls this 
stray curl by his ear. Oh, she's down he bad. He asked some questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. Cute. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set the picnic there and said, I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes, but the craziest part, he managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. Cute, very cute. Okay, and then this one is the thruster repair, Stephanos. Uh, I can only do repairs in spurts. That's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they were going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. To borrow from Diana, Orion's belt thermocouplings are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. But it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. I love hearing her voice. Her face lights up and she's got the most expressive eyebrows so They're cute acrobats. the way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way i look at my grandmother's domades the woman never sits down though she told me that she used to do decathlon in college and i can believe it she's like a bouncy ball just all over the place she makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help hmm. i should do something nice for her she's always helping everyone else i wish i had a fraction of her energy <laughs> They're so sweet. Oh, I love them. I think we might be done at this particular location. Okay, why don't I just write down where we are right now so that if we do need to come back to this one. Oh, this is a different biome again. Hold on. Grab this tree spire. Okay, well, we're gonna have to come back to this. What are you? Discus fish. Pick it up. Oh, that looks deep, so we'll come back. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Oh, I really want to explore it. There's like a dying jelly over there and whatever the heck that thing is. Are you friendly? Ooh, you kind of don't. Oh, it's the squid shark. All right, let's get out of here. We will definitely have to come back at another point. So, okay, now we are finally, this is really, this is where I meant to come to, um, was just the other side of Delta. Uh, I really shouldn't have gone all of those places that I did go, especially since I'm already so sleepy, but you know, it's fine. Hello, penguins. Okay, let me save. Have we gone this way before? I don't think so. Okay. I think I know where we are, maybe. Oh. The artifact you found can I was wrong. traces of information <laughs> suggesting what has become of my people. I thought that we were leading back to the uh, desk closer to where we met Mido, so that's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Material analysis station. Sure. I'm surprised that like we got so close to Delta without him just like telling us that this was here. Okay, interesting. Resembling a human electron microscope or mass spectrometer appears to be designed for the purpose of analyzing physical raw materials. Speculated that the scanning apparatus might be designed to collect small-scale DNA recipes for the replication of non-living objects. Sure. I don't entirely know what that means. Yeah, this is the tree we just scanned. I think this is just a tree to be a tree, as most of them were. Viscous fish, though. This one was weird looking. Colorful small fish with laterally compressed body. It only survives off of algae and other plant materials. Serve as nutritional prey for many larger or quicker members of the ecosystem. Despite their colorful appearance and lack of real defense mechanisms, survive mostly by virtue of their relative agility and tendency to favor narrow crevices and other claustrophobic environments. Sure. So maybe he won't like pinpoint things unless it directly helps getting his body thing. This is pretty. This is very pretty. I wonder what's out there, you know? I feel like maybe that is just, what do they call it in this one? The void? But I don't know. Maybe there's more things. So where's the thing I was looking for? I have to put a marker down somewhere. Oh, this is the area I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, with the desk. Oh, actually, something I've been meaning to do as well. I think I missed like one thing in here. This. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently there was a map. Yeah, I remember getting told this and then I forgot entirely to come visit. Ontario facilities map, Delta Station, Mission HQ communications and logistics, Biorobotic Center, engineering and robotics, Outpost Zero, Xenobiological Research, Kappa Mining Site, Material Excavation, Omega Lab, Biological Research Classified. Okay, I think this is Omega. I feel like I've seen this symbol. So this is Delta. Okay, I see. So Phi, Outpost Zero, Delta, Omega. Oh, that's really far. So maybe there is stuff out here. Okay, I don't know what these green things are 
they're supposed to be though and then this one what did they call it copper mining site oh so there's a place literally on the other side of the island that we can go to <laughs> Oh, <laughs> how did I miss all of those things? I felt like I was so thorough when I- Well, okay, to be fair, I don't think I really explored like around Delta. It was just like on the main area. Okay, so I wanted to go- Oh, I think this is the area. These boxes are open. Just gently- Oh my- Gentle. Okay, here. But I put the beacon down and it was just still so hard to find. I hope there's something useful in here, not just diamonds. And it's just diamonds. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, that's it. Well. Okay then, a little bit of a waste of time. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. Well, at least we can pick up this beacon. It kind of looks like the artifact is right where I am as well, but just like really down there. 350. I don't know if I can go down that far with my truck. I think maybe our truck was 300. I'm not sure. Easy enough to come back to, so I'm not super worried about it. For now, at least. As long as I've got a marker for it, then that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I leave my truck alone, huh? I didn't realize that those guys went on to land. It's strange. Oh my. Maybe he was pissed off at my truck. Apparently. Can you stop that? <laughs> I'm trying to repair here. Alrighty. Um, okay. Oh, so sorry. Uh... <laughs> Oh, this thing is right here. Wait, what? Is this the other thing that I needed? Or was this the small one that we needed before? Oh no, this was just the one that we were just at. Okay, that's fine then. I don't know why I thought we like swam. Oh my. Hello. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, man. I just want to put down a beacon. <laughs> What are you so upset about? I'm gonna put a beacon. I'm pretty sure we've gotten everything. Mercury rack one, small. What was that jellyfish that we saw as well? Oh, where did it go? No, hold on. Let me chase you in my truck instead. I saw a jellyfish before as well. It was like right over top of me. There it is, there it is. Okay, okay. It looked a little bit different than the eye. I mean, obviously way bigger than the eye ones, but I'm curious what your deal is. Don't sting me though, please. Juvenile vent? garden sure okay roughly 20 meters long represent an immature life stage of the fully grown established vent garden the gentle giant appears to swim in aimless looping circles around mature vent gardens while their swimming seem directionless at first glance the young vent garden is actively growing and strengthening its tentacles for when it finds a vent upon which to anchor and mature the bell of the juvenile vent garden remains sealed until it anchors over a vent once anchored the heat and pressure activate a cluster of latent stem cells that develop into opening over the course of a few months. That's all not a threat. Wait, so this is a juvenile one and it's that big? <laughs> okay, interesting. I guess then whatever the mature one is should be around this area somewhere. At least now we've got some direction so we can try and find the second Mercury thing. We can go to Maida. We've got a couple body artifact things. I still would like to explore this purple area a bit more. I'm scared if I try and do it now that I'm gonna rush it and then end up missing stuff. I also have to revisit for the regular thermal vents and try and go underneath there especially if there's some sort of like copper mining site or something that they mentioned so maybe we'll try and explore both of those and then the mining site at the same time i'm not sure this portion of the map we've explored because i still have to do the rest of like behind phi and then a little bit over here which just loops over to here anyway so i guess doing this portion mm, sweet home though i'm still kind of sad we had to take apart my bedroom if anything i might have to turn the multi-purpose room into the large room that we have enough space for lockers and then maybe turn the second half into something like either the bedroom or something like that because a lot of space right here so we could try and build that way put our little goobers oh, i can't put the newt fish in there oh because it's a predator oh interesting <gasps> oh. i have something important to share sorry Another artifact scared me yes you cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So annoyed at Alan. Okay, so we've got one, two, three parts now. Maybe the numbered artifacts are smaller ones, which will then lead to a bigger one, like how the smaller one before led to the body one. Maybe? That's just my guess. Especially now that we've got this map, I feel like that is quite helpful. It kind of shows me now points of interest, which is what I was kind of complaining about earlier today. Is like I felt very directionless. Which I didn't even need to because we went to Delta so early so i should have had this whole time it was just unfortunate that i missed it i'll try to be in better spirits next time i think it's also just i was really overheating this room got really hot today and so i get a little bit overstimulated when i get overheated i'll do some organizing with the stuff we picked up off of recording
starting and now we've got a few different things that we can try and venture to next time. All right guys, so that is it for part four of Subnautica Below Zero. If you liked you watching, I'll actually leave the full playlist link for this playthrough down in the description box and I'm also showing you down there as well. So I feel like we did get quite a few different little things done or at least started today. I do apologize again for my energy kind of dropping off about halfway through. I think I was just getting a little bit frustrated with some of the things going on, which I already talked about, so I won't go on about it too much. I'm really glad that we were able to unlock and meet Alan. They seem very nice and also that we were able to go to Outpost Zero and we got some kind of fun little story stuff like that. But also we got some exploring done and we found the wreck and now we can go and try and find the other wreck and just a whole bunch of different things that we can go off and explore on in the future. That is going to be it for me tonight though, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying so far. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you're liking it. helps me a lot. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, goodbye.